Well, maybe Lila Hogan deserves a gold star this morning as the only candidate to have appeared here at Sheriff Daniel Edwards' monthly prayer breakfast at Natalbany Baptist Church. What a great crowd, though, we had this morning. Yes, it was great, and we actually got a very good uh, remarks from Brother Rodney Taylor today about the disappearance of God and absolute truth in America today, and it was just a, a very inspiring speech. Interesting you bring that up. You're the attorney, not me. You're running for family court on the fall ballot, but where does religion mix in with the public space? We hear often that this judge or that tries to post the Ten Commandments or do something else that the ACLU doesn't like, and here we are at a prayer breakfast sponsored by the sheriff, so what gives? I think that God does need uh, and has a place in all of our lives and in the public arena. I'm very much in favor of that. In fact, my own life I've seen the miracle and the uh, importance of God. I've seen miracles and how every family has problems that you can't fix. And so who do you turn to? What do you do? And the only person to turn to is God. And I think that's important for a judge to understand that and know that God should be in everybody's lives. But for example, if you have a judge's chambers or even the courtroom, Obviously, you can have a Bible there because people swear on it, correct? Yes, I think it's kind of an anomaly. It's kind of weird that you can't post the Ten Commandments, but you have, uh, you have Bibles that people swear on. It is, it is a strange quirk in the law, and I've always wondered about that. And not always, because it's more recent. I'd say in the last 15 years it's become issues. Well, in the meantime, uh, the campaign goes on. I guess the latest issue to occur was Vanessa Williams saying that she'll run. The attorney's run for DA before and is considered a pretty good contender in this now three- or four-person race. What do you think? Well, I like Vanessa. I like all of the candidates who are thinking about running. The election's going to be in October, and in August, we're going to find out who really is going to be running and qualifying. That's a good point. I mean, some of those who say they're running now, who knows? I mean, when you put your money and your name on the line in August, that is when you decide. That's correct, and there could be 10 others. Who knows it's going to be running? The uh, qualifying is mid-August. We'll know then. You can't even then vet what the chances are there'll be a runoff in this thing, but that's certainly, uh, with three or four candidates, something that's considered likely. That's correct. So that's just the way it goes. That's it. I'm, I'm not worried about who is running against me. I'm running for this position. I want to be family court judge because it's time for us to focus on our children and our families and figure out what's best. And that's why I'm running. Well, maybe it sounds like a little inside baseball information, but mediation is emerging as somewhat of an issue in the race because you have used, apparently, I'm told, mediation before in your law practice. So first of all, what is mediation and how is it an issue in the judge's race if it is? Mediation is a way for parents, husband, wife, litigants, people in the court system to resolve their differences outside of the courtroom. Uh, yes, it is a good method. It's an alternative means to court. Uh, as far as whether it's going to be an issue in the court in this proceeding or in this, uh, in this uh, election, I don't know. Uh, to me, mediation is an alternative to going to court. It's a good alternative. But we are going to have hearing officers who will be trained mediators. So if the people come to me as the woman in black in the courtroom and I say, we have 4,000 cases here, let's see what we can do to resolve these quickly and not have seven years or three years of battles in the courtroom, here are some alternatives. We have hearing officers who are trained mediators. Let's send some people to there. We can do rocket dockets. We can do alternative offer. There could be a mediation list. But that is not going to be a mandatory thing. I will hear cases. Make no mistake about it. If you are going to insist upon having your day in court, I will hear it and I will get you in and out as soon as possible. And it's not going to be three years, it's not going to be six months, we're going to get you in and out. But there are better ways than fighting and slinging mud on the courtroom wall and destroying your children with it. What else do you want to share with us? Well, I'm just real excited about the election. I'm excited about all the people I'm meeting all over this district, from Easleyville to Port Vincent to Manchac. It's a terrific, terrific opportunity for me, and I'm very thankful and very humbled. Thank you. I appreciate your vote and your support.